Don Johnson is 70, and time hasn't been kind to him. Gina Rowlands, 90. Gina Rowlands, an actress, possesses an extensive acting career. Her tenure in the entertainment industry exceeds six decades. In numerous films, she and her ex-husband, John Cassavetes, were once collaborators. It came as no surprise that the seasoned actress received two Golden Globes and four Emmy Awards, considering the amount of time she had devoted to honoring her craft. In 2015, she was bestowed with the esteemed Honorary Academy Award. An additional accolade was bestowed upon her in the same year by the Los Angeles Film Critics Association in recognition of her lifetime accomplishments. Rollins never feared portraying a variety of characters, including a suburban wife or a successful entertainer. Despite entering her later years of her career, she maintained an aura of genuineness that resonated with both eccentric mothers and middle-aged women. Younger audiences recognized her for her performance as an elderly woman in The Notebook, a cult favorite film that was also directed by her son, Nick Cassavetes. She reached the age of 90 this past year. Jerry Lee Lewis, 85. The Killer is the moniker by which American vocalist, musician, and pianist Jerry Lee Lewis is best recognized. His moniker was bestowed in recognition of the fervor and vitality he manifested throughout his performances. Lewis also performs a variety of stage tricks, including setting the piano on fire. It's credited to him that he was among the forefathers of rock and roll music. He achieved notoriety in the 50s due to his extraordinary and innovative abilities as a pianist, which propelled him to prominence almost immediately. His breakthrough single, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, which he released in 1957, propelled him to international stardom. It was succeeded by additional blockbuster successes, including Breathless, High School Confidential, and Great Balls of Fire. Despite facing numerous criticisms regarding his personal life, he remains regarded as one of the most prominent figures of his era and never approached the verge of insolvency. Moreover, he became one of the most influential pianists in the annals of music. Margaret O'Brien, 83. Margaret O'Brien began her professional life as a juvenile actress and maintained that position until the year 2000. Envision her income increasing at the tender age of four due to the consistent influx of projects that she undertakes. We believe she's developed a sensible system for managing her finances at such a tender age. Two plaques were inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame in recognition of her career contributions to television and film. Prior to her official retirement in 2009, she appeared in the film project Lodestar Sagas. Additionally, she provided the voice for the 1948 radio program Suspense. She was the mother of Mara Tolene Thorson, her daughter, and has wed twice. She miraculously ceased performing teen characters, yet remains active on the dinner theater circuit and on television. Margaret appears frequently as a celebrity presenter and public speaker at various events. She's currently 83 years old and enjoying a prosperous existence. Christopher Lloyd, 82. Since 1961, Christopher Lloyd has been active in the theater, film, and television. His role as Max Tabor in the film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest propelled him to prominence. His subsequent film endeavor was also a success. He portrayed Jim Ignatowski in the pivotal role of Taxi. He was honored with two Emmy Awards for this film. He won over numerous audiences and critics with his eccentric personas. He animated in both independent and major motion pictures. Although many attempted to imitate his kooky demeanor, he was perpetually successful in his endeavors. Christopher surpasses the limitations of the half-mad stereotype in order to elicit laughter from the audience with his performances. In addition to Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Back to the Future, he also appeared in The Legend of the White Horse. With a 2018 film appearance under his belt, he appears to be averse to retirement at the age of 82. Additionally, a forthcoming film called Welcome to the Pine Grove will feature him. Shirley MacLaine, 86. Shirley MacLaine is a performer, author, stage and film actress, and former presidential candidate. She's not inclined to retire or slow down at the age of 86. When she's not engaged in writing or performing, she's an activist. Shirley most recently appeared in the 2018 and 2019 films Little Mermaid and Noel, respectively. She appeared in Wild Oats in 2016 with Jessica Lange. 
She's agreed to appear in several cameo episodes of Glee and Downton Abbey, among other television endeavors. As she advanced in age, her characters developed a sarcastic demeanor and were frequently portrayed as vivacious, frustrated women with keen tongues. Shirley is exceptionally skilled in embodying her characters and bringing them to life. Despite the fact that contractual disputes required her legal counsel, this did not impede her from securing additional assignments. Although she rarely performs dance routines on film, she still manages to perform on television and ultimately wins numerous Emmy Awards and more. Kara Williams, 95 Kara Williams' given name at birth was Bernice Kamat. This woman is ambitious and gifted, and her azure eyes enthralled numerous audiences. She enrolled at the Hollywood Professional School and launched her radio career shortly thereafter. She began performing at a tender age and continued to do so over the years. She began to win small roles at the age of 16, which would serve as the foundation for her future success. In those days, she was content with minor roles such as salesgirls, secretaries, companions, and more. Nevertheless, her moment eventually arrived, and throughout her nearly four decades of performing, she's amassed a number of film credits. Her notable performances were as follows, Pete and Gladys and The Defiant Ones. Since her retirement in 1978, she's been content with her subsequent endeavor as an interior designer in Los Angeles. Despite transitioning careers, she maintained her status as one of the most renowned actresses of her era. Kathleen Hughes, 91 In 1948, Kathleen Hughes was discovered by her agents while she was performing on stage for Little Theatre. Her aspiration to enter the film industry was ignited by a film starring Donald O'Connor, which conveyed the whimsical nature of the acting process. Fortunately, 20th Century Fox extended a highly profitable offer, and she quickly became bound by a contract with the organization. Additionally, she had multiple film credits with Universal. She gave a standout performance in the cult horror film It Came From Outer Space. She also appeared alongside Loretta Swit in the popular television sitcom M.A.S.H. She's appeared in numerous television series in a variety of roles. Kathleen is an exceptionally talented woman who can imbue a particular character with vitality in an instant. She's currently 91 years old, but she has the aspect of a much more youthful woman. Fans are most interested in learning about her personal life and beautification regimen. Norman Lloyd, 106 Norman Lloyd has potentially attained an age to which many of us would perish. At the time of his death, at the age of 106, he was one of the most renowned actors in the film industry, having collaborated with numerous notable individuals throughout his career. In addition to acting, Norman is experienced as a theater producer and director. He had a long history of notoriety and esteem within the film industry. His accomplishments and interpersonal skills garnered widespread acclaim. It was rumored that Alfred Hitchcock, with whom he collaborated, was accountable for the flourishing of his career throughout World War II. He's regarded as one of the eldest active male actors in existence today. Prior to her death in 2011, he was matrimonial united to Peggy Craven for over seven decades, during which time they were both content. Lloyd, at his level of accomplishment, would have the assistance of a financial advisor in managing his fortunes. Carol King, 78 Announced to the public as Carol King, she debuted in the music industry in 1958 and is widely regarded as an industry icon. She began her career as a staff songwriter at Brill Building before embarking on a solo recording career. Approximately 118 pop singles bear her credit, either as the primary songwriter or a co-writer. She frequently had her tunes lead the UK, Charges, and Billboard Hot 100. Perhaps her most successful album to date was Tapestry, her second studio album. During her career, she's contributed to the release of approximately 25 albums. In recognition of her contributions to the music industry, she was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where she was awarded four Grammys. As of the present moment, she's retired at the age of 78. Carol's been the subject of four marriages. Rick Sorensen, Jerry Goffin, Charles Larkey, and Rick Evers are her former spouses. Each of her four offspring is involved in the music industry. Don Johnson, 70 Truly legendary in Hollywood, Don Johnson is widely acclaimed for his commanding persona and exceptional acting abilities. 
Commencing his career as an actor in the 1960s, Don amassed notoriety for his performances in seminal television series such as Miami Vice and Nash Bridges, thereby establishing himself as a charismatic figure and exceptionally skilled artist. At the age of 70, Don Johnson's seasoned acting abilities continue to captivate audiences. Demonstrating his versatility, he's not only progressed with the industry but also undertaken a variety of responsibilities throughout his illustrious career. Don Johnson, a multi-talented individual with a multi-decade-long career, continues to be an enduring icon in the entertainment industry, demonstrating that the enduring appeal of an accomplished actor is not hindered by advanced age.